insane. This is a sham. No. No. Nope. Y'all, just it's stop. Finally here. Drum roll. Welcome to DBL. I'm Sam here with Al Tori and Erica. And before we get started, we want to wish everybody, listen, it's Memorial Day, and it's really important for all of us here to honor all the men and all the women who have given their life for our country while in the U.S. military. Yeah, you know, we are, I, I love the saying, you, uh, home of the free because of the brave. And that, oh, I like that. It, 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 it Your dad's a vet? My dad is a Vietnam veteran. I know a lot of us, are, our fathers are veterans. Yeah, I think of uh, my classmate, Tommy Gilbert, uh, gone but not forgotten. So every year, I just remember Tommy, so. Shout out That's to Tommy, up. thank you for that. Okay, so today, we do have a special show for you. We are looking back at some of the stories that, well, got us all talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, like this lively discussion we had about fake service animals on airplanes. Take a look. My one dog is not very stupid. Love you, Barnaby. <laughs> but he goes under in under the seat because he's not. Josie's a trained service dog. She read with kids. She went to Cedar sinai Aww. She helped with animals. We passed the Delta paw positivity test. She does read. But a lot of people are taking advantage, and I get it because boarding the dog is like 300 it's a million dollars. Yeah, we call that your problem. No, can I? <laughs> yeah, I don't, no. I don't want to turn the plane into the Noah's no. Ark because. It's not Jumanji. You don't it's not Jumanji. That's you, you guys always say they're your fur babies, so let's start putting our money where our mouth okay, is. Okay, but you don't. I'm so tired of being on a, just a flying vessel with things barking and No hissing. one's barking. I don't like it. It's oh, not don't Jumanji. Don't bark? No, it's not Jumanji in there. It's calm. I've can never I, had a bark. Oh, you I can't even move as it is, and then you want a 90 pound dog under your they feet. They usually put you with a bulkhead. No. But let me tell you this. Albert, and this might change your mind. Let's take money aside from boarding your animal. The death rate of animals being boarded underneath the plane is astronomically high. It's very scary. So let's say you have to take your animal to such and such place. You're going to put them underneath the plane and risk them dying? I mean, you might have to just drive. You have to make account. Uh, you, you, this is a decision that you made. Now, when you start bringing your 100 pound bulldog on the plane, which I have photos of, and just asking me to move my feet so the dog can lay down, you're re Oh, I, I, who cares? I, I have, would love if a dog was next. I have I pictures and I think get I, I, real. Get real? I would, yeah. I would love Je it. Okay, that's you. You're a very specific human. Most of Americans <laughs> are. don't want an animal. I can't even move. When someone's arm is touching my elbow, I want to. Jeff, strangle. I've had pictures. <laughs> We got to hear from Erica on this yeah, one. I was you fly like, a lot. You love your spike. Right. Well, you know, also, I think it's it comes down to a few different things for us. It's like, I don't want to board Spike because we have this major responsibility with Spike. He, we inherited Spike. So, yes, we are going to bring him with us. Also, Sp uh, Spike has never not been a ticketed passenger. Spike sometimes costs more to fly than the person sitting next to us. <laughs> so you gonna have to shut your mouth on that one. Okay. Uh, Spike has every America, right to be there. You are a very specific human yeah, being. Yeah, I am a very specific <laughs> human being. So, okay. Well, do y'all remember the story about having one word for a secret to a successful marriage? Well, here's how we answered that question for our own relationships. <laughs> okay, so on three, we're all going to say ours, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's but try it's gonna it. it's going to be one, two, three, then say it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, communication. Okay. We, I we messed could, up my word. <laughs> we messed it up? <laughs> no all right, let's notice. go down. No one okay. would notice. Tori, let's Tori. start with you. What's your I word? said listening. Listening? Listening. You have to be able to What did you say? <laughs> Good one. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people listen, but they're not like really listening. And once Brooks and I have an issue, and we are in a what we call a trigger circle, and we realize we can't get out. If you really listen without the attitude or the tone, you will get out of your trigger circle. So to me, it's listening, and I do a lot of talking, so that's important. First of all, trigger circle sounds like a show on A and E. <laughs> I, but I'm not sure what that yeah, is. I, I, I it's really, when you're triggering each other and you're just gonna I, fight, and no one's getting out. I agree that in, in couples therapy, we learned it's like when you, when you listen, therapy. you say, "Do you did you hear me?" Not yeah. "Do you agree?" Just did you hear what I was saying? My word really quickly was "versus," and it actually got versus? it from Erica. And it's you and your partner versus the world, um, and, it's, and you guys looking at everything as a team and not. 
trashing your partner and not saying, oh, man, let me tell you what so-and-so did. Keeping your business in the house and understanding that any issue is something you guys need to go against together as a unit. I, maybe I would still be married if I knew that. If what I if, thought yeah, about what that. if the trash needs to be taken out? You blame the world? You, the, yeah, yeah. Well, you hold the hand to hand in hand. You guys both yeah. <laughs> My, <laughs> my word is compromise because if you can figure out a way to compromise on anything that you're, you know, at odds in, mm. then that does make you stronger and it does make you a more unified team. What about yours? I like that. Communication, another C one. Communication was a key for me personally with me and my wife. We just weren't communicating. I like to put things way deep down there and not mention you again. bottle it and then hello up. hello every guy yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna and shove my, all these feelings down here and put some vodka on top of it. it'll be fine why not yeah. and yeah. then Talk ever since I let that genie out of the bottle I'm crying at Snuggles commercial oh, you know what you. I mean yeah, yeah. absolutely good once you just so many guys I say it during my comments just let it go guys let it I know y'all want to cry that's why y'all so mad on Twitter just a <laughs> Commercial. It made you think of your dad. You teared up, and then you went online and said you're you, angry about you it. You hate DBL. That's exactly it's right. Not, you're you're just, absolutely right. You, you had an emotion. You had to channel it somewhere else because you felt uncomfortable. Fellas, just cry. You'll feel way better. <laughs> I tell people that in my comedy show. I have a, a whole section about therapy. I just tell dudes like, just let fellas. I get it. But clearly, gaming and drinking is not working. No. So let's figure out something else so we don't have to blame every partner we've had. All oh, 11 women I was with were crazy. Were they? A lot of people, you. In, yeah, a lot of people say they have anger to hide that pain. Right. You know what I yeah. mean? It's weird. Just yeah. let it go. Let it's it way go. Better. It's frozen. All right. Well, this next story at Al. <laughs> have you seen Frozen? <laughs> not once. <laughs> I, every time I say it, I don't know. I think Olaf, Sam's, Sam's seen it enough for Ilsa. all of us. Okay, yeah. I haven't seen it. Yeah, so. uh, Al was really miffed at this next story to contact potential alien life. And NASA sent nudes of humans <laughs> to space that's right space nudes if you will check it out Symbols. who got paid to do this and who's pay are we paying for this is it probably and like do we want to show them our vulnerable areas? why don't we send out like the best vulnerable of the best areas. Yeah, it's like we, if the aliens might be combative now they're Maybe like they oh know the something you don't know first of all that's a dna helix if you went to biology which i thought you I did, did that did not look that. like a helix that well, looks like something is. at pier one imports that looked like <laughs> just a little circle thing that was not a helix it's a dna helix it wasn't second of all we don't know what what our nasa scientists know perhaps those are new that Why don't we just will like. blast out like <laughs> Baywatch pictures everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get Pamela Anderson's consent. Yeah. Coming running. up on DBL, our hilarious interview. It is so good with singer Michael Bublé. Nice he tells suit. us what life is like at home with baby number four on the way. But first, how a Marine is helping his fellow brother in arms overcome the effects of war. We'll be right back. As gas prices remain high, Verify is hearing from you about claims to save money at the pump. Doug sent us an article about the product EcoPlus and wondered, does it work? So let's verify, does the product EcoPlus guarantee money savings on gas? Our sources, AAA, Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy, and EcoPlus. Let's dive into some of the claims from the company. When we visited the company's website earlier this week, it claimed using the device would reduce your fuel consumption up to 55%. In EcoPlus's words, the device remaps your car's electronic control unit to optimize fuel consumption according to your driving habits. Verify reached out to the company asking for data to support its consumption reduction claims. A spokesperson got back to us saying its device actually offers a 15% reduction and it was working to correct the website. EcoPlus says it didn't have specific data because of limited resources. Since then, EcoPlus's website has changed and that 55% claim is gone. Still, industry experts are skeptical about devices like this. I'll just say it this way. If your car could be designed to get that better fuel efficiency, it would have because car manufacturers want to advertise higher fuel efficiency when they can, but a lot of these devices are just gimmicks. AAA saying, quote, these types of devices are largely untested and claims unverified by third-party testing. Dahan diving into his own experience working on cars to elaborate. You basically have to hack into the engine computer to get access to it. It's, it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, it's kind of like hacking an iPhone now, right? They're, they're, they're really hard to get into. So we can verify, no. Based on EcoPlus's current information, using the product does not guarantee money savings on gas. Detectives learned that Nikki left her 
residence on June 5th. She returned early in the morning on June 6th and left again a few hours later. Uh, there were no further contacts or sightings of Nikki since that time. Police say a Vancouver teenager missing since this summer has been found dead. Welcome back to DBL. It's Memorial Day, and we're taking a look back at some of the stories that moved us most, like this one from Veterans Day. Richard Casper is a celebrated Marine who suffered a traumatic brain injury during combat missions in Iraq. At the lowest point of his recovery, he decided to change his path and fight a different fight, one for his fellow brothers dealing with the after effects of war. After 9-11, that's when I was a junior, um, I saw those towers fall and I just said, you know what, I want to be the first person overseas. Richard Casper joined the military at 17, ready to fight for his country. I went to Fallujah, Iraq um, in 2006, 2007 with first tanks. Within the first four months of me being in Iraq, my Humvee was blown up four separate times, uh, which led to a left traumatic brain injury. And then my buddy was shot and killed beside me. They said I wasn't allowed to work anymore. I was unfit for duty. When I transitioned back home, I didn't know anything was wrong with me. I knew I had migraines for like months straight. I went to college for business at this community college. That's where I found all my injuries. I, I started going to school and I started failing all my classes. And so that's when I knew there was an issue and when I was going downhill fast. And that's when I got diagnosed with my left traumatic brain injury, my PTSD. And so that's when I was even more down the dump. What I tell people is if zero was killing myself and 100 was me before war, I was at a nine at my lowest point, And then I discovered art and music. But Richard found a creative way to fight through the depression. So I used to doodle all the time, I used to draw. How about I take, get an easy degree in art and that's what ended up changing my life, that decision, because in the art classes is where I actually learned how to tell my story without telling my story. And I said, you know what? I want to create a nonprofit out of this because I think so many veterans are going to benefit from telling their story. Taking matters into his own hands, he launched Creative Vets to offer support and relief to those who have sacrificed for our country. The program uses forms of arts to help veterans cope. If we can get this music out to the people, to the veterans, we're going to save so many more veterans' lives just by them listening to our music, letting them know that they're not alone out there. I'm so excited about our next guest. He is a Purple Heart recipient and one of Time Magazine's Next Generation Leaders. Please give a hero's welcome to DBL, Richard Casper. Yes. yes. Thank hello, you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, so first and foremost, thank you so much for joining us. and. Definitely thank you for your service. We celebrate veterans and their service every day, but especially on Veterans Day. So what does this day mean to you? In my world now, uh, every day is Veterans Day. And so this is just another one of those days that we really get to highlight and that the world's actually listening to us. Richard, we're thankful for you again. Amen. Thank you for your service. Could you tell us about the day in Iraq that changed your life? Yeah, well, I, multiple days changed my life. Uh, the major one was where my buddy was shot and killed beside me uh, on December 14th in 2006. But then on top of that, there was four other days where I, my Humvee was blown up. So I ended up with a left traumatic brain injury. But honestly, now that I look back on them, they're not blessings, but they are what started the process, which started my healing, which now heals a bunch of veterans through the process. So, you know, I'm going to ask you to take us there. You're, you're struggling with school and you're struggling with your healing, but then you discovered art therapy. Like, how did that save your life? So when I transitioned out of the Marine Corps, struggling not to be able to speak in front of people anymore, not be able to go to job interviews because my anxiety and depression were so bad, I thought maybe an art degree would be a cop out. But art 100 percent changed my life. So when was the moment that you decided to create Creative Ets? So I graduate from the school there in Chicago. I'm almost fully back to normal. I wrote a song in Nashville that helped me express what I was going through that way. So I have a song, I have my art, and I'm, I'm ready to tackle the world. And then I look back and I say, wait, is any other Marine or combat vet going to do what I just did? So then the next step, I started searching. Are there organizations that do this? 
there was it. There was nobody enrolling veterans into these art schools, bringing them to Nashville to write songs. And so I knew we had to do this. I love it, Richard. Tell us about this amazing collaboration with one of Nashville's biggest labels and country music stars. Oh my gosh, this has been a dream come true since we started. I remember my first board meeting say, could you imagine that we release veteran created music for veterans by veterans in which people could listen to this music. Royalties comes back to our organization to keep bringing veterans to do this. And the veteran who told their story gets money coming back to them to show that their, their story is important and it's worth something. So now by partnering with Big Machine Records and putting top tier artists on our songs, when a veteran's sitting at their home just looking for someone to connect with and they find a random song and it sounds like Justin Moore and they look at the artist and they say, wait, this is Creative Ed's featuring Justin Moore and they search us, they find out that we'll pay for their flights, their food, their housing wow. from anywhere in the country to us. We're legitimately reaching in the homes and pulling them out through these partnerships with Big Machine Records. Oh my you goodness. are a godsend, Richard. You truly <laughs> are. Some people are just born to serve. Right. I mean, you were serving in the military. Now you're serving and you're saving lives. Uh, I, I, it's an honor to meet you. Yes. And to our viewers out there, you can make a donation at creativevets.org. And the music is available across all major streaming platforms and digital retailers. We'll be right back. Thanks so much. With summer right around the corner, more people are running to the thermostat to cool down their home. But what are the best ways to save on your energy bill? Let's verify. For these questions, we went to Logan Kraska, lead communications consultant at Duke Energy and the Federal Conservation Program Energy Star. The first question, is it cheaper to leave your air conditioner on all day than to turn it off when you're gone? If you're leaving home just for the day, it's definitely more energy efficient to keep your air conditioning turned on. Just turn it up a few degrees higher than you might set it for comfort if you were at home. Kreska says the reason behind this is because it will take more energy to start up your AC and cool your home down. So we can verify that, yes, it is cheaper to leave your AC on all day. The next question, is there a temperature you should leave your air conditioner at to save the most money throughout the day? According to this graph by Energy Star, in the summer to save the most money, they suggest keeping your air conditioning at 78 degrees when you wake up, 85 degrees during the day, and 82 degrees when you're sleeping. But if you're like me, those temperatures are way too hot. So Kreska suggests bumping up the temp to where you feel the most comfortable. If you raise the temperature by just two degrees, this is, you know, two degrees more than what you're generally comfortable with inside the house, what makes you feel cool. This is going to help you reduce your cooling costs by 5%. So we can verify that, yes, there's a temperature you should leave your air conditioner at to save the most money throughout the day. And finally, will leaving the ceiling fan on all day cool your home? Fans don't cool homes, they don't cool rooms, they cool people. So if you're in the home, turn that fan on. The fan can cool you down about four degrees. So Kreska says it's good to keep it on when you're home, but turn it off when you leave to get the most bang for your buck. So we can verify that no, the ceiling fan does not cool your home. Welcome back. We've all had surprises that threaten to ruin our day, but thankfully there's singer Michael Buble to make us smile again. Check out this hilarious interview we had with him earlier talking about his new album, Higher. We can dance like that. We can dance like this. Yeah. What's yeah. up? Are you getting a little... Say, you look at you guys. They said you guys were I had some good little beautiful... Oh. Let's talk about the fact that I thought you were taking a brief nap. You and your wife are expecting baby number four. Congratulations. Yes. But how Thank you, you very much. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that you appreciate all the work that I put into that. <laughs> making them baby. It does take uh, two. It does take two. But uh, yes. Uh, but how did your other kids uh, take the news? It's been a good news? time. Oh, the kid? Well, to be honest with you, my five-year-old was devastated. Devastated. He cried when we told him we, mommy had a baby in the tummy. And he said, I don't understand why I wasn't invited to watch when you fell in love and made the baby. I swear to God, that is exactly Stop what he it. said. Wow. Yeah. Ah. So, uh, You're going to have to write that I down. I didn't even know what to say. Yeah, you're going to have to tease him about that later. When he gets of age and older, trust me, he's not going to want to hear oh, that story. Oh, you know it. <laughs> oh, you know, how are you guys, can I, can I come and be with you? I feel like I could be with you guys on this show and I could be 
Is it? Yeah. 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 Would you have me? Yeah. yeah. Or welcome. Yeah. Would we have you? Yeah, we are please. making room at the yeah. table. Okay. This okay. is boot I'm my in. day. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you think five? You think five is not like a, is an odd number that no. would be weird? No. We're gonna okay. we're gonna have you come join the table. In fact, you can even go join Jeff in his car because he has a six CD disc changer. I got it. Oh, listen, I got a 2009 Xfinity, and I don't know if you have something going with them. But no matter what CD I put on, it goes back to disc two. Song seven, and it's I just haven't met you yet. Every oh, single I time so I hit CD play, every, every day, every time I, I hit love CD. you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you all Xfinity. Oh, I don't amazing. know what you guys worked out, but right. it, it's Buble day oh, every dude, day. I'm telling you now, the net, you want you want my new record hired to get stuck because it really is the best record of my life. And I know, listen, I know every artist comes on your show and they say, my new book is the best book I have and my new movie is the best, but you know, they're just liars. Can I try something right now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alexa, play higher. Because I just, I'm interested now in all the millions of people watching your oh. show. If, if, if their whole world just went crazy because Alexa's now playing yeah. higher. Everywhere. Oh my God, Everywhere. I just made so much money on all those streams. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> you that was a straight G move. Yeah. Now let's talk about you because you've always found ways, and I love this about you, to bring your family into your music. So how did you make them a part of your new album, Higher? They're always a part, you know? They're just, the, listen, I, I don't want to speak for you, but just the way that your families are a part of everything you do. I mean, uh, we've been through a lot in my life, and I have a, a great, my wife is my best friend, and she's, a, she's the matriarch of our family. I got these beautiful kids, and we're happy, and we're healthy, and if I can't be inspired to greatness with those things, then I am dead inside. Wow. And yeah. uh, to be honest, it's all just going absolutely Perfect. As, as perfect as this interview is, which is, I think, you oh. thought I froze there, but no, I didn't. Because this interview is so perfect. Do you know how, I, wait, I, I thought he froze, then I thought he was joking, then I went back to froze. You got me. You got me. And by the way, I'm not one of those guys that would ever, I hate when people hawk stuff and they come on mm. with products. It's disgusting. <laughs> Let's talk about your campaign that you're doing with Bubbly called the Bubbly Side. Why should people yeah, check yeah. it out? T tell them. Because we need each other. Because the world can suck. And we've been go all going through really hard things. And when the marketing people who I need to hire for my own record at Bubbly came up with this campaign, I thought it was great. Because this whole record, when I made my record, it was about having hope. And it was about going through hard things and... And, and finding the strength to get up and to, to basically make lemonade out of lemons. We see the world through the eyes of our kids and this sense of wonderment, and I think uh, it's a pretty cool campaign to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Michael, you have been <laughs> such a gem. Let me yes. tell you, thank you for chatting with us. You're always welcome on our show. To our viewers, learn more about the bubbly side with Michael. Check out bubbly.com, and please, you can stream his new incredible album, Higher, right now on any music player. Just ask Alexa. It's already playing. Yeah. And I'm sending you all this, by the way. My people are going to send you this new flavor, blueberry Ooh. pomegranate. I'm going to get, that's yes. coming to the studio for you guys tomorrow, okay? And then you're coming It's delicious. After I'm angry that. that they never let me try it before. Yeah, but then you're next <laughs> to yes. Erica's point. It's first the bubbly water, then it's the buble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. We appreciate it. That was you. fantastic. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care. On May 24th, 19 children and two teachers were shot and killed at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, 85 miles west of San Antonio. According to Lieutenant Christopher Olivares of the Texas Department of Public Safety, the 18-year-old gunman was shot and killed by law enforcement. It's a 27th school shooting in the U.S. this year and the country's deadliest since December 2012, when a gunman killed 20 children and six adults at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut. Following the Uvalde tragedy, podcaster Brian Tyler Cohen wrote a viral tweet thread claiming that this year more children have been killed in school shootings than police officers have been shot and killed in the line of duty. But is that true? Let's verify. Our sources are Education Week's 2022 school shooting tracker, the school shooting database project run by the Center for Homeland Defense and Security, the FBI, and two nonprofits dedicated to honoring America's fallen law enforcement officers.
Independent data from Education Week's 2022 school shooting tracker and the Center for Homeland Defense and Security show that as of May 25th, 24 minors have been killed in school shootings this year. That includes the 19 children killed in Uvalde. As of May 1st, 2022, preliminary FBI data shows that 17 police officers have been killed by firearms in the line of duty this year. The Officers Down Memorial page and the National Law Enforcement Memorial Fund also track the number of police deaths per year based on submissions and their own research. As of May 25th, the Officers Down Memorial page shows that 21 police officers have been killed by firearms in the line of duty this year. And the National Law Enforcement Memorial Fund lists 20. That puts on duty law enforcement officer gunfire deaths between 17 and 21 so far this year. That's less than the 24 children who died in school shootings this year. So we can verify, yes, more children died in school shootings in 2022 than police officers died by gunfire in the line of duty. With your verify, I'm Ariande Till. Is it getting harder to pick the right sunscreen? Let's connect the dots. We know sunscreen is essential to cut the risk of skin cancer, reduce wrinkles, and even slow the effects of aging. But a new report from the Environmental Working Group says about 75% of sunscreens on the market have inferior protection. It comes after several studies found some sunscreens contain the chemicals oxybenzone and octinazate. They've been linked to hormone issues and shorter pregnancy. More research is needed, and the FDA has asked manufacturers to test more. But so far, the agency has allowed products containing the chemicals to stay in the market. So, what is safe to use? Turns out, old-fashioned zinc oxide, you know the stuff that leaves you with a white nose? It's because it acts as a physical barrier to the sun instead of being absorbed into your skin like chemical sunscreen. And that is Connecting the Dots. Are you skeptical of headlines and what you see on social media? We are too. The Verify newsletter helps you distinguish between true and false information by answering your questions. It provides fast facts on trending topics, spotlights major stories, and even includes a daily fun fact for all those trivia buffs out there. Get Verify's fast facts delivered every weekday to your email inbox. Go to verifythis.com slash email to check it out. Welcome back to DBL. We love when our viewers write to us, so let's hear what they want to know. Mm, Al is on the hot seat. Do you have a Ooh. question from Carol All right. about Tori? <laughs> <laughs> what was Tori's best joke on the show, in your opinion? Tori's had a couple good, like, play on words. A couple? I can't, I can't <laughs> cite them, but I think that they were good. And I've said in real time, I've said, Tori, <laughs> that time that that happened, yeah, I think you're, Sue, I honestly do think you're hilarious. Thank you. And everybody else needs to understand how difficult what Tori does. She's not scared to look silly, and that's the hardest thing to do, even as a comic. So, shout out to you're you You're one that. of the funniest women I know. Oh, that's yeah. really, thank <laughs> yeah, you. You really are. It's so fun being around her every day. DBL's new every day. See you again, same time, same place. <laughs> thank you, guys.